All right, guys, I am so excited right now because I found this gift bag under my tree and it said it was from Creepy Santa. So I'm really excited. Let's see what he got me. There's just one thing in here. What the? I have this. Wait a minute. Not only do I have this, but it went mysteriously missing three days ago. So, Creepy Santa took this two-pack that I bought with my own money last month and is now giving it to me as a gift. You gotta love him. And as promised from yesterday's review, here is my final display for the Mini Racers Advent Calendar. As you can see, you've got the track here with all the racers going across it, but made her backwards just for fun because he always drives backwards. Mater wasn't on the track on the box, but I thought, you know what, may as well put him there too. And honestly, I didn't have that much space to fit him uh, elsewhere. But I really like how all these guys turned out. My favorites are definitely Lightning and H-Day. Of course, McQueen is a fully exclusive variant. The rest of these guys just have snow on them, but I don't actually have another mini racer of H-J. This is my first one, so it's really nice to get him. But it's nice to have all of these. Probably my least favorite thing included were the flags, especially the day where it was just one blank yellow flag. I gotta say I'm a little disappointed in the quality control on some of these tool carts. The fact that it's a sticker and not painted on or printed on, like on the actual die cast, is a little disappointing. Also a bit disappointed by this tire stack that didn't even color in the top wheel here. Um, of course everything here is just a cheap little accessory. Most of them are reused. But I really like some of the other accessories. The 95 oil can was a standout, even though it's a reuse from last year's. I didn't get last year's so uh, This is my first time getting it. The cones are really nice. I really like the scoreboard there and the piston cup barrier. The snowy stack of tires is pretty cool. And of course the piston cup itself. As for whether or not I'll get next year's mini advent calendar, I'm not really sure. I think it all comes down to whether or not the cars are exclusive since that's the only reason why I got this one in the first place, but I ended up really enjoying it. Anyway guys, welcome to the final day of 25 Days of Suggestions 2020. The day you're watching this is Christmas Day, uh, the day it's uploaded at least. You might be watching this in like the middle of April. Uh, but I'm filming this on Christmas Eve to be uploaded on Christmas Day, and I really hope for all of those of you who celebrate it, hope you all have a great Christmas. I hope you've all had great holiday seasons, doing your best to make do with the unfortunate circumstances of this year. Um, and I just want to take this moment to thank you all for your support on this channel over the last year. We are so close to 3,000 subscribers. I, I just can't believe it. Thank you all so much for standing by me and sticking with me uh, throughout the history of this channel. But anyway, it's time to take a look at the final review today. Lizzie. Suggested by Robin Tailspider. Thank you so much for your suggestion, as always. Now, Lizzie is actually a car that I've never reviewed before, um, which is funny. You know, a lot of cars this year are ones that I haven't reviewed before for 25 Days of Suggestions. Uh, 25 Days of Suggestions this year was my first time reviewing the original Ramon, the Cars 1 McQueen, and quite a few others, so I'm glad I could finally review those. But he requested Lizzie because he said I had never reviewed Lizzie before, and he's actually right. So it's time to do something that's very long overdue. Today, we're reviewing Lizzie. So Lizzie here, of course, has been released several times throughout the years, although definitely less frequently than the other cars in Radiator Springs. Um, depending on the Lizzie you have, her headlight color is actually different, although I'm not sure what the difference is. She's got a very nice expression here. I really like this Lizzie face compared to the Precision Series Lizzie. She only got a light up release. I think the regular one was canceled. Um, and I would have gotten the Precision Series Lizzie if she was released, but I'm not sure if I would have started using it in my videos because I don't like how happy her face is there. I just love the expression on this Lizzie. She looks crazy. Lizzie's definitely one of my favorite Cars characters. I've done so much with her over the years in my series. Um, 
and I prefer it when her expression is a bit more crazy. I think it definitely fits her personality better, but she still is smiling there. It's a very unique car as she is a Model T. I think there are, are those dents on the side or is that just how she's painted? I can't really tell. Um, throughout my entire history of collecting cars, I've only ever had this one Lizzie. As you can see, the fenders there are actually plastic, which is interesting. It's got her very unique wheels. Of course, up here, this sort of resembles a cap of some kind. On the back, we have her license plate, which is MT23 for Model T, and then probably 1923. Can't really see what's written next to that, unfortunately. Yeah, I can't really tell. It looks like it might just say car or maybe some sort of abbreviation for California, but I'm not too sure there. Of course, this is all written on her spare tire, which is interesting, or rather on a ring around her spare tire. Then here is a look at the other side. Oh, there's a look at the other side, which is basically the same. And there is her base. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching this year's 25 Days of Suggestions and just this year of my channel. Of course, I'll be back tomorrow with my yearly Christmas haul. I'll also be posting that on my blog. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching this year's 25 Days of Suggestions. I'll see you guys next time. Bye now. Thank you.